What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys another Gears of War 4 Gear Packs opening video. Today we are back with some esports supporter packs, esports supporter 3 to be precise, and I've bought 13 of them from the Gears of War store. So we're going to go in here and take a look. So what's been featured in these packs is the Black Steel UIR, Black Steel Scion, Black Steel Marcus, Black Steel Anya, and Black Steel DR1 Protector. Also with what seems to be a brand new Black Steel Weapon Skin variant, and I believe I've seen some of the graffiti skins involved in this pack. But let's have a look at the blurb here. It says, Support Gears Esports with this exclusive pack, available for a limited time, contains three Gears Esports cards, one guaranteed to be epic, plus two more customization cards or a bounty. And so for what I've seen so far, you guys have been tweeting me. As soon as these go live, I always get tweets from you guys, and the drop rates seem like they're pretty good. I decided to buy 13 of them today, so I hope you guys are ready for this pack opening. Here we go. Let's get stuck right in as per usual. Let's go. Let's see what we get. So personally... I'm hoping for Black Steel Marcus. Honestly, all of them. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna lie. I really want every single skin. That's why I bought over 10. I I, I really wanted to increase my chances. Um, but here we go. First pack. Let's go. Oh boy. <clears throat> Alright, so we got a rare, a rare, a rare, an epic, and a rare. Okay, so only one epic so far. Let's see what we get. Okay, here we go. Yes, we got the Black Steel Scion right off the bat. And we also got one of the new, actually two of the new Black Steel variants. So we got the Emissive Black Steel Overkill. So Emissive is what this set is called. It's basically the Black Steel skins we know and love, except it's got lights weaved in between. And uh, the lights change color depending on which faction. So as you can see with the Overkill, they're red slash orange if you're on the Swarm side. And if you're on the Cog side, as you can see on the long shot, the uh, the lights turn blue, which is amazing. So we also have an Escalation Victory Bounty there as well, and a base game skin. I'm, I'm still very kind of... Um, I'm very against the fact that we're able to get base game skins within esports supporter packs. I wish it was just all... You know, you, the only skins you could get are the ones that... Uh, like, are promotional within the pack. That would make more sense to me. But anyway, on to pack number two. Let's go. Hoping for a bunch of legendaries here today. Let's do this. All right, so we got an epic right off the bat. A rare, a common, a rare, and an epic. So we got two epics in one pack. Let's go. Hit the Y button. Let's see what we get here. Oh, my God. There it is right there. We got the emissive black steel Nasher. That looks so, so good. Uh, a Miss of Black Steel marks it. There's the graffiti uh, esports emblem, and we got a purple Tiger Lancer and an emissive Black Steel Hammer Burst. So the cool thing is about this is that if you don't manage to collect the entire set of Black Steel, uh, or sorry, of a Miss of Black Steel, if you had the Black Steel skins from before, you can mix and match them with these, and it will still look somewhat decent because, all in all, they are Black Steel at the base, which is really nice. So, on to our next pack here. Still no sign of a legendary yet, but we've only opened two packs so far, so uh, it could still go our way here. So we got a rare, a rare, an epic, a rare, and a rare. No, is it not legendary yet? Come on, game, please. Okay, so we got a hey, emissive black steel embar, black steel armored Anya. I was curious what they were going to call her exactly. Uh, a miss of black steel drop shot and a brown tribal lancer. So what's, it seems to not be giving us any duplicates so far. Um, but it's being really protective of those uh, legendary skins. So the Embar and the Drop Shot look really, really good, I must say. And of course, Black Steel Anya is looking real good. So this is our third variant of Armored Anya in Gears of War 4. So on to the next pack. We have 10 packs total to open, including this one. Let's do this. Okay, so we have a common, an epic, or an epic, a rare, an epic. And a, and a rare. Jeez, man. Where are these legendaries at? Come on, game. Oh, my God. There's the emissive black steel lancer. We got... There's our first... Du uh, actually, two duplicates. We got the emissive black steel marksa and another black steel armored Anya and a teacup bolt hawk. But uh, the black steel lancer is definitely something I wanted. I definitely want to try and get the base set of skins. Dude, if I get... If I get an emissive black steel snub, I'll be so happy because I the black steel, like the regular black steel snub, was the only black steel gun I was missing. So at least if I could get it in this set with the emissive, I'll be very, I'll be very very happy because I can have at least somewhat matching skins. Anyway, on to the next pack here. 
Let's see what we get. Please, where are these legendaries at, man? Okay, so we got an Apex. We got a rare, a rare, a common, and a rare. Still no legendaries yet. Come on, Gears of War. Okay, so we got a duplicate Nasher. We got a brand new emissive Black Steel Retro Lancer, though. And we got an emissive Black Steel Boltock. As you can see, they're both notified that I don't have them already by the exclamation points in the top right of the cards. And then we got ourselves an Escalation Bounty and another Graffiti Gears Esports Emblem. But uh, yeah, so the fresh two ones were the Retro Lancer and the Boltox. So that's nice. We're definitely getting through the weapon set, all right. It's just a matter of trying to land these damn legendary characters. So we got an Apex. We got an Apex. We got a rare, a rare, and a rare. Still no legendaries yet. Come on, Gears. You're oh yes. We got the emissive Black Steel Snub. I'm so happy, man. Yes. Oh, it looks so fresh as well. Look at that. I was so pissed. I ha I kept using the Onyx snub to kind of blend in with the rest of my Black Steel set, but now I actually have a Black Steel snub, which is so, so cool. And then we have the Emissive Black Steel Enforcer as well, which is awesome. We're definitely on track to completing this set. The only one I could think of that we haven't gotten yet is the Torque Bow, right? Um, that's the only one I could think of off the top of my head that I haven't seen yet. But anyway... Oh, and a boom shot as well. I wonder what rarity those are. I feel like there has to be some legendary weapon skins. Okay, so we got an Apex. An Apex. A rare, a rare, and a rare. Jeez, still no legendaries, guys. Holy crap. Okay, that was entirely black steel duplicates. We got a chill and drop shot from the base set and a warbird long shot. That was the that was the worst pack yet, man. I'm gonna I'm not even gonna comment on that. I'm just gonna skip through it right here. Oh my god, we only have six packs to go, including this one. Okay, so we got a rare, an Apex, a rare, an Apex, and a rare. Still no legendaries, man. What is going on here? Oh my god, and that was entirely duplicates apart from the Dell Necklace Overkill, but I'm not really interested in that right now. So we have another duplicate character, man. Ay ay ay. Come on, Gears, please. Gears Gods. Only five packs remaining. We need a legendary. Come on. Epic. Yes! There it is right there. Oh, okay. At least one. Okay, so let me reset that. Epic. Legendary. Epic. And common and rare. So it had to bounce out there with the common. All right, so hitting the Y button. Let's see what we get here. Oh, shit. We got the black steel DR1. And we got black steel Marcus as well. Holy shit. That was a whopper of a pack. That was definitely a comeback pack right there. So the black steel DR1 is a legendary. Definitely my favorite model of DB. I'm so glad that they went with that model instead of the Shepherd. And black steel Marcus is looking badass. I'm so surprised that he is not a legendary skin. But uh, so we got those two. We got a duplicate enforcer, uh, another Gears Esports graffiti skin, and of course the Escalation Bounty. But into the last four packs here, hoping to see if we can complete the set. I'm I'm hoping, guys, hoping. So we got an Apex, a rare, a, an Apex, a rare, and a common. Shit, I was just so hoping we could clutch up there with another legendary. Okay, so we got the emissive black steel boom shot, so it's not a legendary skin. And uh, it's looking real fresh there. And that's the only fresh new skin that we got in this pack, unfortunately. Damn, we got another duplicate black steel armored Anya. So this is getting really down to the wire here, guys. It's, uh, it's getting dangerous territory. Final three. Oh, boy. Please, I'm hoping for... God, we need Black Steel UI Ore. Okay, so I have the Scion Marcus DR1. I think the UI Ore is the only character I'm missing as far as I'm aware, right? I, I think so, at least. Let me see. Uh, rare. 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 Apex. And a Comet. Damn, I thought the way that was going, the way it was scaling, I was definitely going to get a Legendary. But hitting the Y button here, let's see what we get. Okay, we got Black Steel Longshot. Uh, duplicate black steel boom shot duplicate uh, another scion duplicate and a graffiti emblem and then that tribal that I'm not really interested in come on last two packs let's go let me see oh let me let me look at Twitter real quick and see what the pack is uh, yeah so we have we have four out of the five uh, sorry if I sound different I'm kind of looking a different direction here um, we have four out of the five skins. So the only legendary skin that I'm missing is the Elite UI Ore. And I only have one more pack to open after this one. So I have a common, a rare, an epic, a rare, 
out of legendary please oh gears gods please let it be the elite uir or i don't know what they're calling it. black steel elite uir i don't know what they're gonna call it please gears please 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 no duplicate no duplicate no duplicate no duplicate yes there it is right there i got i oh, i completed the set oh that's such a good feeling i was so worried oh I thought, like, there's some people who I've seen have been tweeting me saying that they've only bought, like, two packs and they've completed the whole set somehow. Well, maybe not, you know, like, two or three packs. They've bought, like, barely any packs and they've completed the whole set. And I bought 13 to cover my ass and we came down to the Clutch Legendary just there. We completed the whole set of characters, though. I believe we may have completed the whole set of weapons as well, but we still have one more pack to go. Oh my god, I didn't actually look at the name of the UIR soldier there. I was just so happy to get it. I didn't even pay attention to what it was called. Uh, but damn, we actually got it. Holy crap. Alright, so last, final pack. Let's see what we get. If we get a duplicate legendary, I'll be happy. That's some extra scrap for me. Uh, we got a rare. A rare. An epic. An epic. Oh, and a common. There we go. I was hoping for a clutch legendary. But let's go. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait, there was no sign of any torque bow. I just remember now. That's I think that's the only weapon we didn't get that was a missive. So we got the Escalation Victory Bounty. We got a duplicate Bulltalk, Snub, Lancer, and of course the Graffiti Emblem. So I'm going to back out here. I'm going to go to Customization. I'm going to go... We're going to check out these characters here, guys. Let's see. Actually, no, we'll put on the weapons first. I already have Black Steel Dell there for a good contrast. So I'm going to hit the Y button. I'm going to go up top here. And we have, there is the emissive Black Steel Lancer. So just for comparison, those are the lights running through it. And here's the old one that just kind of had, uh, they're not white lights, but kind of looks like a chalked kind of wornness on the edges of uh, the bumps and grooves on the Lancer itself. So there is, there is the emissive Lancer, which looks so, so good. Uh, let me see, the Nasher. Where are we at with this? Okay, the emissive Nasher. I've got three of these, which is ridiculous. Look at that. It looks so good. Uh, the snub, which I can happily say, look, as you guys can see, Onyx Wave snub. I've been, I've been, <laughs> I've been slumming it with a ripoff skin. Okay, so I managed to get four of these. Look at that. There we go. That's matching as well. And then we definitely got a hammer burst. So if I'm, if I'm remembering things right, we only got one though. We definitely got an enforcer. Where is it at? There it is. So as you can see in the picture, it's red, but uh, when your character is holding it, depending on what faction you're playing as, it, uh, it actually gives you that color, uh, the appropriate lighting. Uh, so we got the bull talk. I remember getting that as well. That looks really, really good. I remember we got this Marksa as well. Uh, let me see. There it is. Um, yeah, I think the torque bow was the only one that I'm missing, because as you can see, all of the notifications above the skin. So it isn't that big of a deal, because I have... Uh, See, this is the problem now. If I try to open any more in the future, uh, it's just me gambling against the RNG of the skins to perhaps maybe get the Torque Bow. So that's probably why uh, I'll limit myself to just just this opening. Uh, but let's see. Which I think was a pretty successful opening. Always getting all the characters is always my main priority with these. Um, so I'm definitely happy that we managed to do that. Did I get a drop shot? I think we did. Let's see. Uh, oh, we did look at it too. Oh my god, <laughs> that thing is insane. Wait, let me compare that to the to the uh, regular drop shot. Let's see. So there's the grooves on that, and then you can see the extra lights put into it. It looks so good, man. Holy crap! Um, all right, the M bar. We definitely got this. We got a couple of those. There's that, um, and then the long shot. This is one of the first skins we got in the opening. Um, so there's the regular long shot, and then there is. Oh my god, it looks so good. And then we didn't get the torque bow, but as you can see, look, it still matches the set because it is a black steel at the end of the day, so uh, it still blends in. It just doesn't have as many lights. So we're going to go over to the swarm here as well, and I can equip these skins to show you guys what they look like on the swarm. Uh, so where is the emissive for this guy? So as you can see, it's red. Uh, we're going to go to the Nasher. I'll be a bit quicker on this one, guys. I know how people give me shit <laughs> for taking my time. I like to enjoy things. I like to, uh, you know, be in the moment kind of thing. Okay, so we got the Snub. And we got, let's see, the Hammer Burst. It'd be nice if you could just kind of hit, a, like, the Y button and be able to equip a set, just like, say, Emissive Black Steel, and it puts on all of the same skins that you have from that set. I think that'd be a pretty good idea. Um, let's see. 
We have this. But the menu is so much faster now. Ever since title update 4, the menu has been so, so quick. There's no more loading after you back out from doing something. It's really, really fast. I'm actually quite surprised at how quick it is. Uh, we got the overkill. The Let's see, the boom shot. Wherever that is, there it is. Uh, we have the drop shot, which is uh, right there. We have the uh, we have the M bar. So just I'm just now thinking about it. This is the second time that I've gotten an entire set of skins. Actually, the third time. No, the second time that I've gotten an entire set of skins, but been missing one skin. So when I got all the black steel, I was missing the snub. And now with this emissive set. I'm just missing the Torque Bow. And then with the Graffiti skins, I was only missing the Snub and one other skin. I think it was the Torque Bow. Uh, and, and the Drop Shot, actually. I was just, I'm just missing, like, barely any skins. So, like, trying to go against the RNG, trying to get those skins back is definitely so hard. So, I have all of these equipped... Oh, look, it's interesting that these pictures are blue, even though I have it on the Swarm up at the top. That's, that is strange. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the Black Steel characters that we just obtained. Um... Let me go up top here. So hair is Black Steel Anya. There's a good look at her. Damn, she looks really good. I love the chain mail where it's placed, if, if you kind of compare it there. She kind of has like a chain mail, chain mail look. I, that's, supposed, that's more like a fishnet kind of thing, right? Not necessarily fishnet. I mean, I don't think someone would go wearing fishnet during war. I don't know what that material is called, but as you can see, it's turned into chain mail on her legs. And even the bandage on her arm is now chain mail. Looks really good. I love the stuff they do with the, with the chain mail. And, uh, of course, the light's looking really, really good, especially with the emissive Black Steel Lancer there. And then if we go down to the Black Steel UIR, I have a feeling that this is probably going to be the fan favorite. Look at all of the extra grooves and detail in this character. Holy shit. Now we have three variants of this. We have the Asphal UIR, the Black Steel U Oh, they're just calling it Black Steel UIR. That's cool. And then we have the UIR Elite. These definitely look amazing. Holy crap. That is so, so cool. I was... Like, we were joking, sort of like saying it as a, you know, lightheartedly saying, wouldn't it be amazing if we got Black Steel Marcus and Black Steel UIR, and it actually happened. So, it just goes to show that the Coalition does listen listen to our wild and crazy thoughts. Um, okay, so let's go down here and see, where is Black Steel Marcus? There he is, right there. Oh my god, that looks insane. Even his bandana is an extra bit darker than his regular skin. As you can see, it's kind of toned down to match the rest of the skin. I'm so glad they did that because it would have looked really... The contrast wouldn't have been good. That, he looks amazing. All of the grooves, especially the back there. Look at that. The V-shape kind of makes him look a bit more slender. Um, but man, that is epic looking. I love every aspect of this. He definitely... I like him better than I do Black Steel JD. I don't know why I'm comparing those in my head, but yeah, it definitely looks better. Okay, so who is the last one? So that... Yeah, we got... Marcus, uh, let's see, who else was it? The UIR and Anya for the COG. So let me equip, I'm, I'm going to equip Marcus for now, for the COG side. Let's do that. He's definitely, I think he's a fan favorite as well. And it's surprising, as I said, that he is actually only an epic skin. So we're going to go, uh, go over to the Versus Swarm here and hit the Y button and we're going to go up top. Okay, so here it is right off the bat, the Black Steel DR1. Holy shit, this character looks so incredible. So, as you can see, this is actually the only DB character that I actually kept. I really dislike the look of the Shepherds. I actually find them really confusing on the field. Sometimes I think they're Cog Soldiers because there's no big differentiation with them. Because, as you can see, hold on, let me, let me pop this up. Like, there's nothing really robotic about them. It looks like a person wearing Cog armor, if you know what I mean. Like, those sleeves don't look robotic. It's weird that it's clothing, so sometimes you do confuse them with the Cog. So, th see, this guy looks so, like, drastically different because he's got the you know, robotic-looking torso there. Um, but damn, the D the Black Steel DR1 just looks absolutely crazy. I'm so happy that I got him. And then, finally, we have... Where is he at? We got that Scion, Black Steel Scion, to be precise. I actually didn't really like the Scions all that much. As you can see, I, ac I actually haven't kept any of them. We got three duplicates. Uh, for whatever reason, his arm is exposed on this one. I don't think that's uh, what it's like on the others. Let me see. Yeah, it's all covered up on all the other variants. Oh, actually, no, on this one it's there, but it's not as obvious. Oh, it's actually, like, glowing red on this one to match the lights, which is really cool. But, damn, he looks crazy. He's actually a Scion that I'm happy to keep, obviously, since I got him in that pack. Uh, I'm not probably not going to sell him. Obviously, I'll sell the duplicates. But, uh, yeah, that has been it, guys. 
that is all we have and i can't say that i'm probably gonna try and go for that torque bow because it's a big risk it's so much rng against the fact of that i'm missing one skin but i hope you guys enjoyed the opening and the showcase of all of these skins if you did be sure to drop a like let me know what you guys think of these emissive black steel skins and set of characters in the comments down below but if you enjoyed be sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel for all future gears of war 4 content share the video around if you really enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.